Okay, everybody, here we go. Complete transformation process for studio series number 72. This is Voyager class Starscream from the Bumblebee movie. And just a reminder, this is just the transformation process. The review is separately uploaded. This guy's quite tricky, so let's see if we can get through with him and bear with me. So let's bring the arms up like so, fold the fist underneath. And once you've done that, just turn around so you've got the fist actually appearing at the back. So bring them up first and foremost, fold the fist into the forearms and turn it round and just leave them there like so. Then we can focus our attention on the wings, open this out and then rotate it 180 degrees and just leave like so. Open this out, rotate it 180 degrees and leave. We're gonna click it all in in a second. Let's just keep it up there for now though. Turn your attention to the feet and this is super clever because everything's folded inside here and all tucked away. So we can fold this right out. Um, it says on the instructions to do it bit by bit, but it's much easier if you fold it all out straight away and then it's ready for you. Then you can tuck the foot away. We're gonna do the same on this side. So fold this all the way out. I'm folding out all these little parts here as well, which you can see and folding it over like so. Tuck the foot away. And then what happens is when you turn the feet to face each other like that, what you've got is these large tabs that are gonna just now, as you bring this in, See this large tab there? As you bring this in, it will, sorry, that way, it will fit into the position there on the side of the leg. And it'll just pretty much lie all flush. So we can do the same on this side, fold it all the way over. And once we turn it to face each other, you can see that that's gonna line up now quite easily. Let's go to the midsection, fold these bits, click them in, and fold this red part down. If it was indeed up, fold it down. Then you're gonna take the cockpit part fold this all the way up and we're going to separate now and what we're looking to do is get these wings to just pass over what are the hips there as you do that everything else is going to sort of come through now so you can separate these here which hold on to the nose cone bring the nose cone up and click that into position fold these forwards and now it's a case of bringing this head all the way back and it's gonna sit underneath there. What we need to do though now is line a lot of things up. So before we click all this together, we're gonna to take what were the shoulders, separate them here. You can see there where they're attached. This is actually quite tricky and it's sort of heart and mouth thing because you think you're gonna break it, but it does separate off this. It will click off. He says, let's go around it, that's better. You can see where it's separated and it really is stuck on for me. This one, it's a brand new toy though. There we go. So fold this in fold it into this it's going to come into position once they're like that fold the fists back on themselves and these fit slot nicely in between the red bits on the side there once they're there bring this down just in front and you know that you've got everything lined up now it is a case of again lining everything up so let's fold these wings down click this in like so it will click into place same as on this side and as you can see we need to sort out the back part now so let's Bring this down, push that onto that side. Same here, just bring it back enough to able to get that down. And then what we've got here, this will stay upright like that. We can now start to piece together via all the tabs that we had on these bits, which went into the tops of the legs. And this is starting to look very much like it. All you need to do then is take this weapon. You've got a big double tab there and two small tabs underneath, two cutouts either side of this and the big double tab there. So let's line this up. Oh, just click it together, that's better. Line them up and then of course bring this in and slot that under there. Oh, I've just knocked it forward. So I'm just gonna reposition it and oh, knocked it all off completely. Butterfingers at the end of the video, but let's line this up, pop it in and click into position. So there is your Tetrajet version of Movie Bumblebee Starscream. Right then, so let's go back the other way into robot mode. So obviously we need to separate this from there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate this part here. Once you've done that, you can see everything's pretty much tucked under there. Let's move these legs out of the way. Let's open up these here just so we can then set free what of course are the arms. Fold that out of the way. And then this is the tough part going, well, it was the tough part going the one way. It's easier going back this way bring this out and it will just fold and click into position there. These are of course gonna be either side of his shoulders. We can leave that there for now, leave that part open, get the nose cone, bend that through and just rest it into position being held like that. Then you can take the whole of this, 
bring it up and over and push this through the gap, bring this over, seat it on the top. Then push the landing gear down if they were up. Now, in fact, you can bring it up to be honest. We'll do that in a sec. So let's move the feet out of the way. That's what I always forget to do in all honesty. So now we can separate this, fold this there. Sorry, fold that back first, fold this bit there, fold this over itself. And then this will just fold neatly into his calf stroke leg there. Turn the orientation around. Let's do the same with this. So bring this a little forward so it's separated from the leg. Fold this backwards. Sorry, fold that there. Fold this backwards. Fold it over itself and just tuck it inside the calf stroke. See, I always do forget it. I forgot to bring the foot out. Fold it in. If you get stuck and it's struggling, that is why you've left the feet in. I'm going to bring these back up because these should have been up and I pushed them down. Let's lift them up. All right. So let's turn the orientation of the shoulder all the way around. Bring the forearm down, spin it round and of course pull out the fist from the back. Same on this side. Turn it round and turn the forearm round at the same time whilst getting out the fist. All we need to do now is just finish off the wing. So we can separate this there. We can turn this around, fold it on itself and turn it 180 degrees. Put a slight little lift on it if you want to, to give it that little bit more display. Maybe not so vicious, that's come right up in the air and it's up to you however you now want to display them. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.